Hi guys, welcome back to Supermath for you. This is Mr. Rego, and today we're graphing systems of linear inequalities in two variables. The first system that we're going to work on are these two inequalities. By the way, a system of inequalities when we have more than one inequality. Right now we have one, we have two inequalities. It could be more than that. First of all, we're going to graph the first one. We're going to take the first inequality, which is only one variable. When we have only one variable, that means my line is going to be either horizontal or vertical because my variable is y, then the line is going to be a horizontal line that goes through 3. Okay, one more thing that I need to be aware of, my inequality symbol. If I have an equal underneath, then my line is going to be a solid line. So I have a solid line that goes through 3. Now, every inequality, it has a shade, okay? So either the top, in this case, or the bottom, the whole bottom is going to be shaded. We go back to an inequality and we read y is greater than or equal to 3, greater. Any number that is greater is going to be 4, 5, 6, 7. So all the top is going to be shaded in this case. So we're going to shade from our line all the way to the top. Half plane is going to be the solution in this case. That shade. If I was going to do only one inequality, this would be my solution. Now, for the most part, when they're doing when we're doing inequalities, they're going to ask me, um, is point, let's pretend um, 2 comma 0. Is this point a solution to inequality? All right, let's pretend that we're doing only one inequality. And they ask me about this point, I'm going to come to my coordinate plane and we says R 2 comma 0. Is this point part of my shaded area? No, it's not. Therefore, this point is not a solution. But if I ask you, oh, is point 2, comma, let's say 5, a solution to the inequality? I'll go here 2, and then I go up 5, and now this point lies on the shaded area. Therefore, this point will be a solution to the inequality. Okay? Let's continue to the system. Once I have the first inequality, graph already, my line and the shade, I go to the second inequality. Today, right now, we have a y by itself. So this inequality is written in slope into the form. Therefore, I'm going to graph the line using my slope and my y-intercept. Okay, my y-intercept is 4. I'm going to go to the y-axis equals to 4. And then I'm going to use my slope, which is rise over run, 1 over 2. My y-intercept is going to be 4. That's my first point. And then I take my slope, rise over run, one up, two to the right. I start my y-intercept, one up, one, two to the right, and that's my second point. Once I have my two points, it's time to draw the line. Before I draw my line, I want to go back and check my inequality symbol. Because the inequality symbol does not have an equal underneath. Remember, the previous one has an, had an equal, therefore my line was a solid line. This one does not, therefore it's going to be a dashed line. Once I have my line, it's time to shade. Because I have y is less than, then the shade is going to be below my line. Therefore, I'm going to go to my line, which is the black dash or dotted line, and I'm going to shade below, underneath. Once I have this shade done, now where's the solution of the system? The solution of the system is where the two shades intersect. If you notice here on the top, I only have the green one. Here on the bottom, only the blue one. But in between this little triangle, I have the two shades. So that will be the solution to the system of inequalities, which is the two inequalities. Any point that lies on this triangle will be a solution to them. Once I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the shade and I'm going to shade back to my graph and I'm going to shade more to make sure that we understand that all this area is a solution to the inequality. Again, I can ask you, is 3 is point, uh, three comma 5 a solution to the system? You go to the graph, it says 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is right there. Yes, inside is inside the shaded area. Therefore, it's a solution to the system. So if you have the graph, it's easy to check. Point 2, comma 2, 1, 2, and then 2 in, in Y. This point, it's in one shade, but it's not in this area. 
Therefore, this point is not a solution. The previous one is a solution to a system. Okay? Now, it's very important to understand that this point, this will be a follow-up question for the most part. They will ask you multiple points. Okay? Some of the points will be lined up on only one shade, like here in the green or the blue here in the bottom. Those are not because they need to be on, on both the intersection of both shades. All right? Let's practice one more. Now we have our second system. Let's graph out the first system. We have an equality here, which is x less than to 2. And then we have the second one, which is at x minus 4, y greater than 12. Now the idea is to do one at a time. Let's take the first one. So here we have only one variable. The idea when we have only one variable is that it's either a horizontal or vertical line. In our previous problem, guys, we have y, right, as a variable. And that was a horizontal. Therefore, this is a vertical line. And it goes through too. Before I draw my line, I want to check. I go back and says, all right, hold on. Do I have an equal underneath? On my inequality symbol, I don't. Therefore, this is going to be a dashed line. Now, let's graph it. x equals 2 is going to go through here, but it's a dashed line. Once I have my line, I go back. All right, what side is going to be shaded, the left or the right? I'm going for x is less than, right? I go for my inequality symbol, x is less than 2. What is the number that is less than 2? 1, 0. All of these values to the left are less than 2. Therefore, my shade is on the left side. From my line all the way to the left side, okay? Don't get afraid of guys with graphing, shading all that side. All this side is the shade. And I have my first one now. Let's go into my second one. Here, you can graph this using the x and y intercept. For today's video, I want to stick to slope intercept form. I don't want to confuse anybody. Now, to graph in slope intercept form, I need to leave the y by itself. All right? The first thing that I need to do is cancel the 8x. It's positive. Therefore, I need to subtract. Once I got rid of the 8x, now it's time to get rid of the negative 4. The reason I chose this problem is because now the y has a negative number next to it. To get rid of this negative 4, I have to divide by negative 4. But let's remember, we're doing inequalities. What happens when I divide by negative? That's right, my inequality symbol is going to change. It's going to flip. So let's divide by negative 4 everywhere. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 gives me 2x. Positive 12 divided by negative 4 gives me negative 3. And now the y is by itself, which is my goal. Once the y is by itself, now, I can use this, I can graph using the slope intercept form. My y intercept is going to be negative 3, and my slope is going to be 2. Don't forget to make this a fraction over 1, and there's going to be rise over run. Okay? y intercept is negative 3, I'm going to go to my y axis negative 3, and then my slope is 2 over 1, rise over run. I start the y intercept, I go 1, 2 up, and then 1 to the right. As always, before I graph my line, I need to check my inequality symbol. I don't have an equal underneath, therefore this line is going to be dashed like my previous line. All right. Once I have my line, it's time to shade. To shade, I go back to my inequality symbol and says, all right, y is less than 2x minus 3. Because I have y is less than, then the shade is going to be below my line. This was my line. And below is all this side underneath. Therefore, I'm going to take from my line all the way underneath. I need you to be very careful with right, what I'm doing right now. The solution of this system is where the two shades intersect. Okay? If you notice, all this side has only one, which is the blue or the cyan. Okay? On the other side, there's only one, which is the green. But in this little triangle, I have the green and the blue, right? The two of them. Once you identify where is the intersection of the two shades, then you go back and you make sure that you make it darker. And now this triangle is the one where the two shades intersect. If you see underneath, I have blue and green right there. So any point on this area, shaded area, it will be a solution to the system. If they ask me, okay, give me an example of a point that is a solution to the system. I can say it, all right, so if this is 1, I can say the point is going to be 1, comma, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So this point over here, 
this point 1 comma negative 3 1 comma negative 4 uh, 0 negative 7 0 negative 8 any point on this area will be a solution to system okay and that's it for the inequalities guys please like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye